What is going on, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to LA Noir. Last time we completed the, the up to the point now of traffic cases. This time, well, we're gonna join Vice with the Black Caesar or Kaiser. Oh, they treat a cut. Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Wait, I get Take Roy? A, a special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found Whoa. in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Read it. All right. Yes, sir. Captain does not like our new buddy Roy. Welcome to Hollywood. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. Oh. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole. I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? Something. The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. I can assure you I'm no war hero, Detective. Let's rouse some Can you drive to this one? Yeah, it is a nice car. Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? No, this is my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a Nash if you're in Vice Call. Meanwhile, we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over Central Avenue. Wow. That's an impressive car, but... Let's see how this actually works, because I'm very curious. Chunky's apartment, wow. They really picked a prize shithole for our first date. Huh? I guess I take the lead as usual. About I'm five to bucks. Imagine you up the stairs, out. detectives. Thank you. Around the corner, last door on the left. Around the corner, last door on the left. Come on, done. Your show now. Thank you. Carruthers. Phelps, I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs, overdosed, been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same surrettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies Whoa. can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. How do you... So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. Talk about it like it's a system. It was a system, but those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Yeah, and we do, but we can't change people. Yep. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this today, preferably? Dang. I don't like Vice already. What is this? Black Caesar. From the joint across the street. Huh. Looks like something was taped to the bottom of the cup. Well, that doesn't help. Tyrone Lamont, not even 23 years old. Dang. 
What we got here? Numbers. A small chance in life is probably better than no chance. Right? Alright, where... Dang. Took his jolt and drifted off. Never the same. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. Oh, I just did that. Hmm. Looks like we got some music, which doesn't help us. What's this? Cherries, bell, wind. Some kind of fruit, a bell, and wind. Strange doodle. I wonder Never what's the, the correlation brother. between love of the needle and love of the music. Pretty good. Another special order from the Caesar. Another note missing. Alright. I believe we're missing one clue, and it's on this guy. One cigarette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> what you got? They say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. Jeez. Can't imagine people dying younger than me. JJ always listens? Who is JJ? And why do these two care about his taste in music? Just when I think I've seen it all. No music stopped. Oh, look, another one. A bit heavy for an empty cup. Fix right over the counter in broad daylight. Wow. The emperor across the street appears to shift a lot of popcorn. Let's <laughs> shake him down. I don't think popcorn's the right term, Mr. I forgot your name already. How am I supposed to remember everybody's name? Roy, yeah, Roy. All right. So Roy, take us. Well, we're going across here. Let's go ahead and get this vehicle listed. The right. Cadillac Series. Let's 62 wrap this up before I actually have to work overtime instead of just claiming for it. You're a true inspiration to us all, Roy. Right. You gotta be careful not to disrupt the scene. And I don't wanna hit the car beautiful car. Like that. God damn maniac SQPR. I like it. Help you? Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand over the popcorn numbskull before we kick the door in. Okay. Get that son of a bitch. That was... Officer, please tell me what's going on. What was Roy thinking? I mean, literally, all we had to do... Stay on him. I can't really, dude. Former Marine, and you're gonna try to outrun me. We've been here before. Roll. Roll. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna be on a roll here. Dude, stop running. So that coming. Ah! Eddie, help me out, man. They're trying to kill me. You gotta help me out. What the hell going on here? Marcus! B that you? You picked the wrong cop, you fucking animals. Come on. 
counter punching OP. Uppercut. Oh, I'm right here. What's your name? Morgan. Half an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Keep very still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Wow. Food looks good. I don't think this is going to help us. I don't think so. The... Is that... What's in the box? Ooh. There it is. Morphine. Might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. What's in the case? That's a little trumpet with a mute. Should be stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Jermaine Jones? Maybe Morgan can give us something on this Jones character. Nice trumpet, but... Not sure this means much. I don't think it means much. Now, I'm really curious if there's anything in the mute. Because these things are very... Very hollow and normal. Ooh. Oh. These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. Huh? Alright, that's all the clues in here. So let's talk to our new friends. About time we heard what Fleetwood here has to say, Cole. Come on, Fleetwood. Fleetwood Mac. We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. All right, Mr. Fleetwood, tell me about the victims. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree and Tyrone Lamont. No, I sell... I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black-eyed peas. Bruh, hard blah. You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? I mean, what about the morphine for distribution? Flipping burgers and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now, I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? A cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. All right, he brings the stuff around about once a day. Okay. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bound, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. Okay, we got a name. Thank you. We have you for the hop. And resisting arrest. Tell us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. No. All right, now, now what else you want to know? Uh, no. We have an address on the slips. We're going to go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 no. Look, I, I've been cooperative, okay? Hey, now, man. you got to help me some. Fleetwood, I'm going to speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Look, he's, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. You're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. We always like to repay a favor. Can you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. <laughs> I feel like Roy's gonna be a little bit of a racist here. All right. You know the way. You can drive. Let's go to the number right, operation. Where to? Yeah. I heard you were in the blue room the other night. Shouldn't you have been at home? Tucked in bed with the wife and kids? Where I go is your business. It couldn't have had anything to do with a certain delightful but damaged German girl, could it? I don't know what you're talking about, Roy. That was weird. My computer screen just moved on its own. I don't like that. I'm a computer screen, but like my mouse. A 
I saw a phone. We'll get to that in a second. I don't know what the phone duck means. Oh, I remember this. Detectives Phelps and Durrell, LAPD. The name's Marilyn Nodi. I run a strictly legitimate bookmaker's detective. So that's not an illegal wire service that your colleagues are running? And the number slips that I've been picking up all morning with this address on them have nothing to do with you. I'll pay my kick to the Watts, and they pay their cut to the LAPD. You can't go shaking me down. You're a loudmouth, motherfucker, aren't oh. you? Oh. Anyone ever tell you that criminals are supposed to keep their mouths shut? Stay where you are while we look around. Where's the phone at? Operator, give me R and I. I don't even know what they want here with the phone. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, detective? How can I help, detective? I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Just a moment, detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as fifty five twenty eight Santa Monica Boulevard. Thank you. All right, so I may have screwed up completely. Can we leave? I forgot the order of this. I'm hoping the game's gonna let me do this, because that would be very helpful. Because I may have just screwed up, like, the whole beginning. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? Okay, cool. I'll meet you guys there. Well, he's right here. Good. You're supposed to go to the booking agency first. That's my fault. Ignore what I just did. Uh. Oh, I was How was Hopgood doing, Roy? Who? Marlon Hopgood. Your informer. He was my corroborating witness in the Bishop case. Oh, right. Marlon. You're not still sore about that, are you? You made the case without him. Hmm. He was an accessory to the abuse of the girl, Roy. As long as Hollywood exists, it's gonna be chewing up starry-eyed little girls. Marlon was small time. You caught the big fish. And look how much good it did your career. You're right, but no. It's not about that. It's about catching bad guys. All right. Well, this place looks fancy, just like the rest of Hollywood. Look at this place. I'm guessing not much talent <laughs> comes out of this talent agency. 238. Here we are. Jermaine Jones, 238. Sawyer School of Business. I wonder if that has to do with uh, a certain popular fake online school I mean it's really not fake but hey what's up who let you in I let myself in uh Jermaine Jones don't bother getting up your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out I wasn't planning to now you think you can tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. Oh. You carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Search the place, Cole. Free. What do you think you're gonna find, policeman? It's a big Scott radio. Scott Phantom. Fine radio. Short wave, AM and FM. My father has a Scott. Pretty good thing, but you ain't allowed to do this. I got rights. Really? I don't know. Wait, I need FM. Oh, hello.
hello, morphine. That's what the numbers mean. No wonder this thing is sounding a little muffled, Jermaine. Brandon, Wilt, get over here. Take these assholes apart. You heard the boss. <laughs> Another fist fight? This the best you got? Mugs are dope for the eyeballs. Wow. God damn. I don't believe this. Are you too good for anything? Stop resisting, quick, asshole. asshole. You're only making it worse. Come on, come on. Beat these sons of bitches <laughs> down. No. Sit tight, asshole. Pretend you're at the parlor getting your nails done. Cole, you better search through that stuff in the radio before you brace our friend here. <laughs> Jermaine is not doing so good. How many starving musicians pay with perfect clean 50s? Too much for felony possession. I'm thinking intent to supply. Mm, okay. We got some good stuff. This must be how those two bums standing guard take their wages. And another number. Your friend Fleetwood was also a betting man, Jermaine. Is there anything over here? Probably nothing important. I doubt it. Me too. Optimistic, Cole. I hope none of this stuff is purloined, Mr. Jones. I have a receipt for that thing. Somewhere. Oh, I'll go talk to Jermaine here. Lamont and Tyree are dead. At a stretch, the DA could have you on felony murder for supplying stolen government... Tyrone murder. and Cornell are dead? Hmm. They're on a slab downtown with the ME examining their last meal. Popcorn washed down with morphine. And you offering me a deal? I have a pet judge who hates blacks. Oh, crap. I'll give you 50 years for your two buddies. Another 30 for stealing from Uncle Sam. You'll be out by the time you're... 110? Imagine the changes you'll see. Hmm. I get the message. How much is this gonna cost me? What do you mean it's gonna cost you? I'm a bit confused. Who supplies the morphine? I don't know nothing about that. <sighs> Doubtful. So we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any Jew boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Fink controls the action. Lenny who? Lenny Finkelstein, Mickey's dipshit brother-in-law. Oh, we've heard about him. What is the link between the morphine and the numbers slips? There is no link. You're wasting your time here. No, I'm not. You're lying to me, Jones. Tell me about Merlin. Who? I don't know anyone named Merlin. I mean, we know who the distributor is, so his name is Merlin Oddy. Fleetwood Morgan will testify that you and Merlin are expanding out of illegal gambling and into drugs. Okay. So I buy from a cat goes by the name of Merlin Oddy. Merlin runs the lottery for the two boy. The Fink has a new line in drugs. You squeal me out, I deny ever telling you. Tell us about Oddy. Hardy's a gambler. Fronts points on football games, fights, the horses, numbers, chicken crossing the road. Motherfucker, take the odds on anything. We're not done with it. I missed one clue because the music's still going on. Which is actually on top of the, this radio, which I didn't even think about, which is actually this thing. Ramez removals. They must have taken special care delivering this for you. All right, let's try this again. Uh, yeah, I mean, one more explanation. Who the heck is this? What's the score with Ramez removals? I brought a radio from there. That's all. Again, you're not looking at me straight. So when we visit Ramez removals and tell them that we want a special 
bookcase or wardrobe to hide our dope in. They're going to be copacetic. And when we tell them their good friend Germain sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD. I could use an act like you two. Those fucks Abbott and Costello are on the sly. Hollywood could use another couple of deeply unfunny white bread hosts <laughs> like you. Very good, Jermaine. You have character. Now cough it up. Ramez is a good friend of Lenny the Fink. You getting the picture? It's not a good picture. Take them all in. We have a deal, right? We're after the morphine. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. Cole likes this game where he can just brand people up who are actually doing bad things. I mean, this is the most people he's can got once in a long time. But we need I need no question about our friend at Ramirez or whatever. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. I need an address for Ramez Removals. That's Ramez, R-A-M-E-Z. Just checking. Ramez Removals, corner Sunset and Wilton. Dang. Owned by a Jose Victor Ramez. With a change of voice. Thanks for your help. All right. Now we go to the numbers. You drive. Operation. I need to go over the case notes. I'm sorry Fine. I screwed that Where up. Where are we headed? We're missing a, we're missing a clue. It's the only reason why. So Mickey Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army's surplus morphine, and they are selling it on the streets? Looks that way. But the mob wants returned customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question, detective. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly turning up now? Another good question. But where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. If you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, you'll find out what happens. We need to follow the evidence. As you can tell, Roy is one of my least favorite people. 